Okay, I think most of you guys have had a problem with your hard drive with not working or dying or what other sorts of problems there will be. But um, I've came across a few different kind of methods how to use your laptop without your hard drive. Well, only not, you know, not only the laptop, but also with a desktop PC. So, my hard drive died a few days ago, so I had to search a kind of way to uh, use my laptop without having a hard drive. So, because um, my financial situation doesn't require me to, uh, you know, buy new hard drive because I don't want a hard drive which is less than one terabyte because I have a, a lot of data okay um first of all I want to show you that I am no I'm not uh, you know like kidding you or anything that I am not using my hard drive this is my hard drive slot okay it's kind of beat up PC you know it's torn down broken but that's all this is my hard drive slot there's no hard drive in it to get out because it's broken it doesn't want to boot uh, the uh, PC fast enough with the hard drive in it so I've taken it out uh, that's for that and if you're wondering what the hell is that then this is the fan cable come to the USB port for the maximum rev for gaming on low end PC. Like the laptop and I made a hole so it can direct input the air, not here, or here. So that's for that. <coughs> Let's turn it over. So I got um, two different uh, OS's to try on. One of it which is uh, the Ubuntu, which is on this USB stick. Um, and uh, it doesn't weigh much. It weighs a little, not so much. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't like Ubuntu so much. Uh, it had a lot of issues. Uh, like you cannot install any applications with it you can't game on it you know to use your laptop or PC so and it has a very bad audio quality at the Ubuntu OS so I had to throw this away uh, oh by the way uh, the both OS's uh, can be boot without installing the OS. So I have a, another OS which is quietly better than um, Ubuntu. It's called the Zorin 10 OS. It's an operating system which is uh, like the other Linux, uh, but it's far more better. It's almost like Windows 7. And uh, I like it more. So I have just copied and pasted the ISO files. Extracted it and pasted it on the USB sticks. As well as the Ubuntu. So just paste it on USB sticks. Or paste it on and burn it on the uh, uh, CD. So you can put it on CD. Just like installing Windows, so no hard drive, as you could see, hard drive's here, Samsung hard drive, put it away, and just plug in the <coughs> power source, and wait for the green light, okay, we got a light. And power this thing up. It's 
First of all, my laptop loads this bar over here, and then searches for bootable devices, and I have set the BIOS setup for uh, booting up from USB. As you see, it's blinking. So it'll boot directly for from the USB device. If you have nah, booting in secure mode, and now there it is. It has booted up. Uh, so there's the selection. Try Zorin OS without installing. Press enter. This weird box comes out. I think that's kind of a stuff, but nothing else. So this logo. Like this Zorin has. It's booting up. Has the word sand to it, uh, but I don't mind it. So yeah, it looks like Windows 7. Um, you guys are, you know, when you have uh, already had accounted with installing new Windowses or OSs to laptops or PC, then you notice that you have to install uh, drivers for network and audio and what so on. But with this OS, you don't have to install these things when you try it, because it already has the audio drivers. Plus the uh, plus Wi-Fi in my case, so there is no drivers needed. I can put up my drivers. It has Firefox installed. I don't like that one, but can change that very easily go into that uh, network and uh, Zorin web browser manager it comes up and you can install Midori web Google Chrome and Firefox which you can uninstall or install Google Chrome I'll uninstall the Firefox yes yeah, it's uninstalling it. It's quick, quicker than uh, installing a new browser, of course. But yeah, that's how you um, use a laptop or PC without installing uh, or having a hard drive. So, I think that's a very good benefit of these OSs. They both run on Linux, so yeah, they're quite quick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I think up something else. So, see ya.